In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover lost or missing transactions on the Binance Exchange. And for more information on how to recover funds with Binance, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Sometimes, even those of us who have been around crypto for a long time, or even teach people how to use platforms like myself, make mistakes. So what if you sent a transaction to or from Binance and within a few minutes it doesn't arrive? Well, the first thing you're going to feel is that sinking feeling of the fact that maybe you've lost your funds, and this could still be the case. However, there might be a way to recover them. And I'll show you a couple of ways to try and recover your funds today which will include if you've sent your funds on the wrong network from Binance, or if you've forgotten to add a memo or a tag when depositing into Binance. And I'll pop a timeline in the summary below so that you can jump to specific parts of the video. I found this recently after creating a Trust Wallet tutorial, and I sent some BNB to the Binance Exchange platform for trading, but found after a few moments that they never arrived. And the reason for this was pretty simple. I didn't add the memo, which is something that's required for the Binance chain. If you didn't enter the memo or tag, you could be in luck, as Binance can recover your transaction and return the funds back to the sender for a small fee. And this is the first way that I'll show you. So I've got some BNB in my trust wallet here that I want to send across to my Binance account. So I'll head across to Binance. And if you don't already have a Binance account, I've got a link in the summary below that will get you some money off your trading fees. If I search for BNB and choose to deposit beside that coin, immediately you'll be prompted to include the memo, but of course we'll ignore that and exit out of the window. Then I can copy the Binance address or scan the QR code from inside my Trust Wallet app. I'll then put in the amount that I'd like to send and I'm asked to input a memo here. And as it states over on Binance, the memo is required to identify your assets. And as you can see, the memo here is made up of eight numbers. However, when sending my transaction from Trust, I'm just going to enter in three digits into here, as this is the mistake that I'm going to be pretending to make. And I'll send my transaction now, which it states is now gone. Now, if you find the transaction never arrives, there may be a way to resolve this. So if you head across to your Binance account and go to your wallet and fear and spot, then in the top right hand side of the screen here, you'll see a link for deposit withdrawal history. So let's click onto that. And in here, you'll find any recent deposits or withdrawals that have completed correctly. But if yours isn't appearing in here, you can click onto the link that states deposit hasn't arrived click here. And this is where you can enter in your transaction ID or your hash to find out the progress of your deposit. With the Trust Wallet, you can find this transaction ID from within your wallet by pressing onto the name of the token, viewing your transactions, and pressing onto more details here. This will then open up the Binance Chain Explorer, where you'll find the transaction hash, which we can copy. And if we paste that back over on Binance, as you can see, it's now returned a message stating that the amount has not been received and the memo was not filled in or incorrectly filled in during the deposit process. However, the good news here is that you have the option to recover your transaction. So let's click on to recover now. And as it states here, in order to maximize the security of your assets, they will be returned to the source address once retrieved. And that's obviously going to be my trust wallet. And from here, you just need to enter in the token type, the sender address, which you can obviously take from the transaction information, the amount, and the hash that we copied across earlier. Once you've completed, you'll then be able to submit. And you'll then need to pay a small fee at this point. And they state here that it's a manual process and therefore you have to pay five times the withdrawal fee for the currency, which for me is 0.0025 BNB, which at the time is about $1, I believe. So I'm going to submit. And you'll want to make sure that all the details are correct in here. 
and then you can go ahead and confirm. And they state that it will take five to seven working days. However, for me, it actually took less than 24 hours. And your funds will then be returned to your original wallet, which in my case is obviously my trust wallet. And I could then simply resend the transaction, this time including the memo correctly. So that was method one, which was pretty easy to complete. But what if you've accidentally sent crypto to the wrong network within Binance? Well, if you've sent ERC20 tokens using the Binance Smart Chain network, or if you send BEP20 tokens via the Ethereum network, you should be able to retrieve them. However, this will all depend on the wallet that you've sent them to. And we're going to look at three problems and solutions today. So if your tokens have been sent to a wallet that supports both blockchains, it should, in theory, be pretty easy. In this example, we'll imagine that we've sent USDT to the Ethereum network in error, as USDT is supported on multiple chains, including the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. And we'll be using the MetaMask wallet, where you can choose to add token at the bottom of the main screen here. And this will essentially allow our chosen wallet to scan for the lost token. From here, you can search for if the token is available in the list, or you'll need to add the custom token. And this will include adding the token contract address, which you can get from the likes of CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, and simply just search for the token. Once you've added the token, you should then be able to find your lost tokens in your wallet balance. And from here, you then have two options. So you can either use the Binance Bridge to convert your tokens, or you can use a manual method. The Binance Bridge is a simple tool for converting your assets between two different blockchains. You just need to connect your MetaMask or Binance Chain wallet, and then you choose what you want to transfer. Please just note that there is a minimum amount of 110 USDT here. Plus also don't forget that you'll need some BNB for the BSC gas fees and Ethereum for the Ethereum gas fees. If you don't want to use the Binance Bridge, you can manually convert your tokens instead. And in this way, you'll need to send your cryptocurrency back to Binance. Just make sure that when you're sending your tokens into Binance, that you select the right network. Then once your USDT is back in your Binance account, you can convert it to BEP20 in this example by withdrawing it using the BEP20 or BSC chain. And then you can send that across to your supported wallet. Now, if you've sent your tokens to a wallet that only supports the Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, you'll need that wallet to be non-custodial, where you're going to have access to your private keys or your seed phrase. And this is because you'll need to import these into a new wallet that does support both blockchains. When you import private keys, essentially it's like restoring your wallet, and a complete copy of your wallet will then be accessible from the wallet you import into. Exporting your private keys will depend on the wallet that you're exporting from. But once you've exported your private keys, you can then find that wallet that supports BSC and Ethereum. In this example, we're going to take a look at importing our keys into MetaMask, but you can also use the likes of the Trust Wallet. If you haven't already got a MetaMask wallet and you're creating a new account, you will be given the option to import your old wallet seed phrase on creation. Or if you already have a MetaMask account, Simply click onto the MetaMask circle in the top right hand side of the screen and choose Import. Where you can then enter in the private keys into the fields shown, which are applicable for the crypto that's missing. Then just choose to import. Then once you've imported your private keys, you'll need to set up the Binance Smart Chain if you've not already got this set up within MetaMask. And I've got a tutorial and a blog post that you can follow for this, which I'll also put in the summary below. However, essentially, you just need to add the network and the data to create this. Then once that's all set up, you can then follow the steps that we've just taken for tokens that have been sent to a wallet that supports Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum. Then the final way is if you're trying to recover your transaction from a custodial wallet or an exchange where you don't have access to your private keys. And in this case, you will need to contact their customer support. And you'll find that some custodial providers may help for a fee or allow you with access to your private keys. And you can then import the private key into a supporting wallet like we did with the previous step. However, just be aware that most, including exchanges, 
will unfortunately not be able to help you with your private keys. But that completes a few different ways that you can use to recover lost or missing transactions on Binance. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.